Hello people, this is a quick video to show you guys how hot a SID chip gets in different versions of C64 motherboards. I'm using this chip, it's a 6581 revision 3, produced in 85. I don't have a heat sink on this, uh, so I can measure the temperature with this temperature gun. Note that this temperature gun has an accuracy of plus minus one and a half degrees Celsius, which is about plus minus three degrees Fahrenheit. The three motherboards I'm gonna measure this temperature in is this one. It's the oldest one I have. It's a 250 425 motherboard. And then I have this one. This is from my flat white machine, my Commodore 64C. It is motherboard number 250-469. And lastly, we have the newest reloaded motherboard, which of course Commodore had nothing to do with. This motherboard is based on the original 250-466 motherboard. Let's get started. I'm gonna start with the old machine. Alright, the old machine has been running for a while now and have reached top temperature. So let me show you now. So, around 50 and a half. Okay, now the flat white one. It's been running for 15-20 minutes, just like the, the old one, and let's check the temperature. quite hot and it's very hot to the touch it's 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 quite painful holding your finger on it so yeah okay and lastly the C64 reloaded I have been running it extra long just to be sure so now I'm gonna measure much cooler much 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 cooler and it, it it's not it doesn't feel hot it's just tepid i guess somehow the reloaded board is economical don't know the technical details but that's very nice and just for the heck of it here is a chart where you can see the temperatures compared between the three boards if you have anything to say please leave a comment subscribe for more videos like this and thanks for watching.